you have been working in IP in, in Brazil for many years. Uh, how is the current COVID-19 situation affecting the legal sector in general? And uh, what are the major changes you've seen in the last few months? I would say that uh, many things that are usual uh, in other IP uh, realities in other countries would be like the suspension of the deadlines that we are used to, to deal with uh, before the Brazilian Patent Trademark Office and before the Kurds. Uh, but we have other uh, initiatives from our country that is based on the fast track uh, specific initiatives in the Brazilian Patent Trademark Office related to the, the COVID-19 situation. So, uh, some, of course, as all over the world, uh, home office challenges for everybody, but uh, since we are a service provider, uh, our firm and most of the people related to IP are in this situation, we are able to work uh, in a home office basis. So everybody in our firm is doing like that. Six years ago, in your presentation at the 33rd ATRIP Congress, you stated that the challenges of the patent law are, are numerous. Have you seen more challenges arising as a direct consequence of the current situation? And uh, are there any examples you can share with us? But one of the main things that I would like to stress related to the, the composer licensing uh, that I can see that is a, cha a real challenge is the, the procedure for compulsory licensing. Uh, it's not that easy to get a compulsory licensing. And uh, if you take a look on the regulations around the world, it takes more time than uh, we expect to, to do it. And uh, if the government is not uh, willing to, to do a compulsory license based on the, the country emergency that uh, each country is passing through, uh, it would be difficult to have other compulsory licenses from competitors uh, uh, in a due time. I think that uh, if we can connect my presentation in the ATRIP, ATRIP Congress uh, six years ago with this situation, I would stress the need of a more reliable and fast computer, computer licensing uh, procedure. Milton, it seems that you're mentioning that there's, uh, because we're in a national emergency, an international emergency, there's a feeling that there, we need to create a system that allows compulsory li licensing, allows um, other manufacturers of things that can help the situation, the current situation, and potentially save many lives um, to be able to be used by other manufacturers. It would be interesting uh, in this case that we are living right now uh, to have a more easy and fast procedure to have a compulsory license for the medicines related to the COVID-19, uh, for the respiratories related to the patents related to respiratories that could be produced by other industries. So it would be important, it, it is important to have a more effective and fast uh, compulsory license, license procedure related to the national emergency and uh, of course the international emergency that uh, we are living right now. Is there any specific way to move that forward? Uh, I believe that uh, the specific way it would be uh, to have a procedure who, as a country, you do not need to publish that uh, specific medicines or specific products are uh, needed for the national emergency. And I realize from your background that a significant amount of your work at LEO intellectual property has an international element. Do you see IP stakeholders having a budgetary impact and having any budgetary impacts due to the current situation? And if so, would you say it's more noticeable in some jurisdictions as opposed to others? Uh, what we can see is uh, less investment in IP, but not that IP is not important that this time. Uh, it's the opposite. It's really important. And this is one thing that I would like to stress. Uh, the clients understand that it's really important and they, they are really uh, keeping the full IP assets that they have. 
the only thing that is happening right now that I can see uh, with the clients is that they are more conscious. They are more careful with the, the IP assets and also they are thinking, uh, taking more uh, deep thinking decisions instead of the impulsive decisions about uh, protecting everything. The current situation, have you seen any unprecedented instruction or legislation from the Brazilian uh, patent and trademark offices related to the current situation? I would not say unprecedented, uh, but I would say that uh, it's a movement that it's, uh, I, I can see that other uh, IP offices are taking as well. The IP, uh, uh, I would say that the IP public offices, uh, that all technologies related to medicines and equipments and tools related to COVID-19 are uh, uh, in evidence and also receiving a fast track uh, analysis possibility. So the Brazilian Patent and Mark Office developed a, a new fast track and it's in force right now for the last 15 or 20 days already uh, that any technology related to the COVID-19, even medicines or, or products related to it, respirators and things like that, uh, can be uh, can have an analysis uh, faster than the usual technologies that are submitted to the uh, the patents related to to other technologies.